Happy Monday! Welcome to the Solar Size program. For we do this every two weeks. Tonight we're going to be sharing some customer reviews. We're going to be talking a little bit about some of the different product support we have for those with Solar Size. We're going to go over some great questions and then get your Solar Sizers out because we're going to go through a routine too. So that routine is going to be a fitness routine that I've done. It's going to be a little more than, than 10 minutes, but it, it's all designed to help, help us improve in our physical fitness and health. It has come up again, as it often does, what's the difference between a solar sizer and the units that use bungee cords? So I want to briefly talk about it. Bungee cords are fun. They're great to jump on. People love them. They're, they're, it's fun to jump. But for fitness purposes, they don't offer the resistance. And people have often asked me and written me, they said, how come I never got the kind of results on a Bellicon, for example, that I do on the Solar Sizer? And I said, because it wasn't designed for fitness the way that the Solar Sizer is designed. If we don't have enough resistance, if it's too soft, then it doesn't help build up the muscles and the bones in the body. It's the resistance that helps to move the fluid through the body, through the lymphatic and through the circulatory systems. It's the resistance that gives us the support we need so that our feet are not pronating. And when we alter the angle of our body to create leverage, we know that we're going to have good support. And rather than throwing us off, it's going to just lift us straight up. So again, there are many features built within the solar sizer that make it unique and make it for fitness purposes. Now, that being said, if you have a different mini trampoline or rebounder, we adopt you. You're part of the Solar Size family. If there's any questions we can help you with, by all means, um, please please uh, feel free to ask, even, even tonight as, as we're gonna be talking. So we're gonna go through the customer reviews, go through the questions, then we're gonna go through a, a fitness program on the Solar Sizer, and you use your, your rebounders. And we're also going to deal just slightly in the mental fitness of what it takes to be successful. Now, we've already, and you've heard me, many of you have heard me mention that ideas affect the way we think. The way we think affects the way we act. And the way we act to a large degree determines our results. So if we want to take charge of our results, we have to be willing and able to take charge of the ideas that we are allowing ourselves to be exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. Because if we don't, then by default, old programming or the ideas we are being influenced by are gonna take charge of us. And as a result of that, a great many people, if not most people, live in a reactive mode, constantly allowing the conditions around them to far too often govern the conditions within them. So we're gonna, develop that personal relationship with our physical fitness and our, and our body. And we'll do a little bit of that occasionally. Um, nothing as extreme as we did a couple weeks ago, but just a little, just enough so that you're getting the idea that once we are in a balanced state physically, we want to do and accomplish the same thing mentally. And that's going to empower us and help us to feel better about where we are right now, in addition to being able to enjoy the journey to where we want to go. And, and that will be part of it. Okay, so that being said, I hope you all have your solar sizers out. This is from Linda. No, this is from Jody. Jody says, the solar sizers allowed me to not only maintain my health during a Minnesota winter, my fitness has improved and I wasn't in poor shape to begin with. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. Linda writes, I absolutely love listening to all the reasons solar sizing is so good for you. I bought a leaps and rebounds rebounder before I found you, but I'm following your workouts. It's amazing how good I feel. I'm turning 65 next month and feel stronger than I have in years. Linda. Thank you, Linda. Karen writes, hello from New Mexico. I find when I solar size before my yoga practice, I have much more strength and stamina in my arm postures. From the first, from my first few downward dog poses and continuing through the practice. Thank you for enhancing my yoga practice too, Karen. 
And yes, solar size will improve your yoga experience. If you're in martial arts, it's going to improve your martial arts experience because it's going to create an enormous amount of balance within the body that you will take in virtually any activity that you, that you participate in. Dr. Stan writes, Dr. Stan is here, love this product. The best rebounder I've used in 25 years of rebounding, Dr. Stan, thank you. And Geraldine writes, I did what most people do and go cheap and then totally was in pain. We now happily own three solar sizers. <laughs> thank you, Geraldine. Mimi writes, good day. I am doing excellent on my solar sizer machine, bringing out the kid in me. And remember, why work out when we can play in? That's what we want to do. But still feels weird to lean back for abdominal exercise. Still not figuring out how to focus for inner thighs workout. Thank you. Have a blessed week. We'll talk about thighs in just a few minutes. And this is, um, oh, I think I read this one last week, which is really nice. I read those too. Okay, Amy writes, I started with another spring rebound before getting my solar sizer. That said, I've noted that my body runs warmer in the day following rebounding in the a.m. or morning. I figured that was a good sign for metabolism and circulation. You're absolutely right. Earlier today, I donated blood, filled the bag in eight minutes, a full two minutes better than my previous time. That's interesting because we talk about how solar size helps to break up sticky blood cells so they're separated, more oxygenated, they can circulate better. That's interesting. Yes, I keep track. I'm a data dork. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm chalking it up to the solar sizing. Interesting. Okay, I'm here because Vicky was open about using her solar sizer. I had tried rebounding before, just not the right one. I've been prowling around though with a really great true rebounder on my wish list. This isn't easy to manage always, this budget for health, until you remember where else you're saving by taking good care of yourself. Yes, it's love, me and my new solar sizer. Granted, I had started adapting to this motion with my other choices and have worked out steadily for the past 31 years, probably. But still, remember to be kind to yourself. If you have to let your body adjust by shuffling or rocking your balance and then graduating to both feet, it's okay. Adjust you will. Your spine will also love it. I have no more back tension. Whatever monster gets in my low back from a stationary bike is scared away with my cellar sizer. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, we'll take it in that real quick. I'm not kidding. I'm out of bed without any delay being able to move. I've even started wanting to jump before coffee. And she shows a picture of her, her solar sizer. Victoria writes, I love my solar sizer. It took me a while during the beginning of the pandemic. Now I cannot stay off it. My energy is totally improved. I'm 68 years young and people say to me, I wish I looked and felt as good as you. You surely don't look your age. What a wonderful compliment. I tell them about my solar sizer. Get one. You won't be sorry. Just check out the website. Thank you so much, Dave Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. You guys are great. All right. This one, the next two are special to me. Um, they came in this week. They're all special. But I think you're going to recognize that some of us, some people have greater challenges to go through. And it's we can celebrate with them when they've been able to go through those challenges and experience a totally different or better quality of life. And this one here um, comes from Jay. Jay says, hi David, when I was 64, I was 238 pounds, a 42 inch waist, and on two blood pressure meds, two meds for gout, 2000 milligrams of metformin for type two diabetes, a statin for high cholesterol, and had chronic fatigue syndrome. My doctor told me at an appointment that my blood sugar at 810, I should be in a diabetic coma. Right there, I decided things had to change. I started with dietary changes, keeping it simple, going old school, absolutely no simple carbohydrates, all complex carbohydrates, 
about 75 cal carbs per meal, no bread, no dairy, a vitamin D supplement. I drink nothing else but three quarts of collagen water a day. I shop around and won't buy or eat GMO foods, given a, given a choice. A friend once asked me why I won't eat GMO foods. I replied, well, read GMO backwards. I snack on celery and peanut butter, Triscuit crackers, and avocado dip. It sounds familiar. Once my new diet was started, I started looking for an exercise routine. I borrowed a friend's laptop and researched a lot of routines, ran across rebounding, which I was somewhat familiar with, with its effects on the lymphatics. I next went to consumer reports and researched rebounders. I ended up deciding between a couple. I was able to get the 800 number for Solar Sizer and Cult. I like the Solar Sizer for the balance bar and in talking with Jerry, Jerry, many of you know, terrific. If you need me a pickup, just call Jerry. He fronted me your video free. I bought my Solar Sizer on October 5th, 2018. By about January 1st, 2019, I had worked up to advanced routines on my Solar Sizer. At this writing, I'm 67. I have went from 238 pounds to 182 pounds, a 42 inch waist to a 34 inch waist. I'm off all meds except one blood pressure pill. My AIC, uric acid, PLT, C-reactive protein numbers are all normal. Blood pressure is always in the 120s over 80s. Resting pulse is always around 60. The diet and cellar sizing cleaned up my leaky gut, which ended my chronic fatigue. There's no doubt cellar sizing is the best exercise in the world. Just ask NASA. The second best exercise in the world is pushing yourself away from the table. Cellar sizing helped me beat Big Pharma for now. And at my last doctor's appointment, my doctor told me, I don't have any patients in your age range that are in the shape you're in. Thank you. And P.S. If you use my <laughs> customer review, please refer me to as Jay in Nebraska. Jay, thank you. We celebrate with you. And, and you know, I think, and I've said it before, persistence overcomes resistance. The next customer review is a perfect example of that. Many of you know her. And many of you have come to love her, like I have. She's a... She had some really strong health issues and challenges in, in her own personal life. And it was frustrating for her for a while, but she hung in there. And I want to read, uh, read what, you, what Christine Hanks has to say. Knowing, knowing where we want to be and getting there are two different stories. Until I put my picture side by side, I still saw the same person in the mirror. Sure, my clothes size had changed. In fact, I had to buy a few things and a, a belt even. But I didn't see it until I compared the two pictures. I think the hardest thing for me is the BMI charts. I don't like them. In my world, according to Christine, they aren't always right. Feeling good in what I wear and how I feel should be my determination on where I am. I can't say this has been easy. Lots of ups and downs. But I think I've got this figured out. Diet is key to losing weight. You can cellar size all you want, but if you eat junk like I have, you just become a hamster in a wheel going nowhere. Eating healthy will help with so many things. Exercising will help me maintain and improve even more. I love my cellar sizer. It has helped me tone, maintain, lose, clear my head, and keep me going. Having a cellar size family that encourages you is the icing on the cake. See how much all of you make a difference. From the start of my journey to now, I am down 45 pounds. I will probably stay where I am because I'm happy here. Thanks, everyone. And you've got this. And I don't know if you remember Christine, but uh, that's Christine now. And before, after, of course. And she's a... Uh, Guys, she's taken. She's married to a really great guy. So, Christine, we celebrate with you. We're happy for you. And keep, please, keep sharing your customer reviews with others because it keeps them going and it makes a difference in their life. So, 
All right, so real quick seller size, we've got, I want to talk briefly, we've got our app, we have some new, <laughs> some new routines that we're going to be adding to it. I talked with our, our department today, um, they're reviewing and taking a look at how they are functioning right now, but we'll be adding them to our, our Mr. Rebounder app, for those who don't know about it, you can find out about it on our website, or if you go to mrrebounder.com. We've got um, beginning, we've got several exercises for beginners, we have intermediate, several exercises for, we've got over 30 different routines that you can pick from. You can create your own routine, which I've done for tonight, and you can save your own routines in your own personal library once you've saved them. Um, and we'll, we'll be doing that in just a few minutes. We also have the monitor. The monitor, again, for those who don't know, it registers the intensity, the total amount of time that you've been on this exerciser, the number of calories that you've, you've been burning as, as well. Um, we've got our Mr. Rebounder app uh, phone holder, so you can actually have it directly in front of you as well. So, balance bar, if you have a half-hold exerciser, and you want a more narrow balance bar, you don't have to buy a whole new bar. We have an adaption kit, so you can just buy the top part. We have those in stock right now. For those of you who are waiting on balance bars, it has been frustrating, and I know our balance bars are back orders. Um, I am working with our people right now, doing whatever we can to get um, the tubing we need. And that's been the challenge, is getting the tubing. So I apologize. I thank all of you for, who are waiting for balance bars, for full balance bar sets, um, for your patience. Uh, I understand your frustration. I'm just as frustrated, and I wish we had more control over it. But from what I understand, this is industry-wide, and it's, uh, it's affecting a lot of different companies. So again, thank you for your patience and your support. And in the, if you're waiting on a balance bar, you have a high back chair, um, you can use a high back chair um, for balance initially, um, as well as uh, a door jam or grab an entertainment center. It's not as convenient, but um, it can work. So let's go over some questions. And it says, I broke my little toe when I stubbed it on a metal leg of a bed, which is wrapped with one inch foam pipe insulation. Did that two weeks ago. The podiatrist told me it was a bad break and gave me a soft cast to help keep it still. She said I could do what, whatever unless it hurts and thought six to eight weeks to full healing. So I'm looking at this solar size and wondering if I should get on it with the foot support. Should I wait or other recommendations? Question mark. When I broke my ankle and I shared this before, I was in a boot and it was broken in two places. I would hang it over the side and I would bounce up and down. So I didn't put any weight on it, but the movement up and down increased the circulation, undoubtedly promoted the healing process because the doctors were quite amazed and one of them became my customer. Um, if you, you can regulate the amount of weight on that foot simply by putting your foot on the mat and you can determine how much weight. But the movement up and down helps to increase circulation, reduce inflammation and helps to promote the healing process. Because it's a medical condition, I have to say consult with your doctor. I wouldn't um, bounce up and down, obviously, with, the, with a whole bunch of weight on it. But that gentle movement up and down can help expedite the healing process. What is a good exercise to help painful hip flexors? How to release the tightness, but also strengthen it. We're going to be doing some of that today in the routine, but just you know, rocking side to side where you're kind of pushing the, the feet into the mat doing the gentle twisting. All of this is working on the thighs. The Whippy Speed Patrol is an excellent one. So those movements are within the app, and if you have additional questions, by all means, give me a call. I asked the question last time about getting research done, how much it would cost. Now, we've got a gentleman, and I don't know how many people, because didn't get much of a response, that might be interested in helping to fund additional research on the benefits of cellular size. There are several universities that I can approach and talk to them about various, what, what's the effect on, on bone density? How does it affect the blood cells? And, and, and get more scientific evidence and information. We've seen it under microscopes, but, but we'd like to get some actual studies to help 
you know, with the credibility. What does it do for the thyroid? What does it do for digestion, elimination, and the internal organs? What, it is, what does it do to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joints and, and, and show those differences? What can it do with high blood pressure? What can it do with hardening of the arteries? Um, what can it do with an increased oxygen blood flow to the brain and brain activity? You know, there's so much, there's so much that we could do. And it's just limited fun. So thank you again. Um, if there are several people interested, let me know. Um, if What I'd also like to know is what topic, if you have something specific that you think we ought to research first, um, balance, equilibrium, whatever the case may be, chase uh, multiple sclerosis, let me know. And, and then I can approach uh, you know, an institution that deals in that arena and talk to them about doing a study and find out what that cost would be. I'm sure it's, you know, it, it, a lot of it depends on who's doing this study and, and how much time is going to be involved. But um, thank you. I, I really appreciate your, uh, your interest in, in helping to get that word out. I am too. I was wondering if the Solarcizer helps post-op healing. I'm going in for some pretty extreme shoulder surgery and I would like to be able to get back on the solarcise as soon as humanly possible and be reassured that it will be beneficial. I've shared some of these techniques with you on the shoulders and I've shared them with doctors and health practitioners and you know, just being able to support your shoulder and gently move up and down. The dynamic on the shoulder, the tissue and the muscles and the ligaments is enormous, it's huge. And you can feel it when you're on that solar sizer and you start to move up and down. But when you're supporting it, you're massaging. You're massaging all the, the muscles and ligaments, stimulating increased circulation, help reduce inflammation. And then there are specific movements that I also teach with the shoulder to help open up flexibility of the shoulder. Yes, Bertha? What's the status on the rug underneath the solar oh, sizer? On the rug. Guys, if you can find me a good company that can give us a good price, um, I would love to be able to... Uh, produce these for us, but I don't think it, this one cost me 900, 800, almost $900. Um, I've got the template built so I can get them down to $500, but I still don't think many people are going to be interested in buying them. It's a very high quality, great uh, carpeting, but there are other round ones you can pick up at Wayfair, W-A-Y-F-A-I-R.com, and Wayfair.com has round units that you can get. But as far as getting this particular one, I'm open um, to finding a company that can do it for us. But thank you. Is it okay to use two pound weights while you're solar sizing? Okay, here's the problem. <laughs> I tried that once. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it can build up bigger muscle, but it can also hurt your ligaments and tendons, which it did. It took me quite a while to to work on the scapula areas because two pounds, when you're jumping with it, it's not two pounds. It's much more than that. And the ligaments and tendons as you're coming down, um, they can be damaged. And so I, I prefer to do resistance movements because you're using your own strength and your own weight. And it's still leveraged, but um, if you do, just know, be careful because if, if it, Depending on how you're holding them, what position you're in, remember that two pounds when you put that much more G-force and leverage on it isn't just two pounds. To burn fat, should you stay at the low end of your heart rate? No. No, burning fat is, if, if you, <laughs> that's metabolic processes, but by using the biggest muscles of the body, it's the big muscles that demand the fuel. So that's why we do the Jamba run. And it's been extremely effective in helping people lose lose weight. And so, in fact, it can be it can be too effective for some people. So it's um, yeah, it's it's uh, you jump around every time you do it. If you do repetitions of it or intervals, you are burning fuel, and that's that's what we've done to help people uh, lose weight. So, um, I plan to order one soon. I understand the weight limit is 300 pounds. My brother-in-law is over that limit. Can he maybe sit on a chair and just do the leg movements to get the circulation benefit until his weight is below 300? We've had people over 300 pounds use the solar sizer. 
It's just worn, in fact, it's worn into 350 pounds now. But uh, somebody who's 350 pounds or more, they're not going to be jumping high on it. What we want to do is build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees and the hips. And I don't know a better way to do that without damaging them than cellar size. I mean, this is just, this movement is increasing circulation, but it's also working the thighs and the knees, and it's very simple. Now, a 300-pound person is going to be using a lot more of the spring, so they're going to sink further, and their feet are going to be spread apart a little bit, but we still have the tridactable spring. It's our patented spring design. So when you get to that last one-third of the coil, it stops you, it slows you down, and that's going to create the movement to increase the circulation so that we can build up the strength in those supporting muscles and ligaments so that we can do more intense activities. So it's good. I have a bad right hip from poor use and falling in an angle with a plate, oh, ankle with a plate, screws and bungees on the left. Am I right in that I would need to modify or amend certain moves as I progress on the unit? I am not in fit, but it beat my body up a bit. Any ideas? I think I shared last week, um, I may have read this one or this, um, or it's another person. I talked about some of the different movements a couple weeks ago that you can do for the ankle to build up and strengthen the ankle. And then again, depending on how much flexibility or movement you have, it's best to consult with the doctor, but there are certain movements that we can do that do not use a lot of movement in the foot rocking side to side is still going to work on the, the ankle and the hips and the thighs and the knees. I'm doing gentle twisting. Of course, lifting the heels up and down. If you have that movement, that's really going to start to build up the ankle. Um, when I broke, I've broken both my ankles, both of them in two places. The right ankle, I had two pins in it and they uh, said I'd probably never be able to use it the same way again. Not true. It's been fine. Um, it took a while, <laughs> but the body has an enormous potential. So they say your muscles get used to the weight resistance, and this is why you need to increase your weight resistance in order to build muscle. How does this work on a rebounder, or is it just not necessary? And if so, why is that? I don't think it's necessary. Let me tell you why. When you build up a muscle, muscles are your first line of defense. Okay, when you're when you're using the muscle, yeah, the muscle's gonna grow and get bigger. In in typical um, exercise, if you're tearing down to build up the muscle, they, uh, they tell you to do it every other day because the body, the muscle has to heal itself. But yeah, you reach a plateau. However, it's the ligaments and the tendons that will also adapt to whatever the resistance is. As the ligaments and tendons get stronger, they take longer than a muscle. But as they get stronger, then the muscle isn't, you're not as reliant on the muscle, so the muscle may shrink a little bit. But the ligaments and tendons don't. And so your strength isn't gone. You still have this enormous, you look at a cat. They can leap six feet up in the air. It's not because of their muscles. It's their ligaments and their tendons. And what cellular size is doing is it's helping to build up the ligaments and tendons as well. So you still have a, a great strength, but you're not damaging your, your muscles to do that. Hope that helps. Okay. Um, sorry if this question has been asked before. Why do my ankles hurt after cellar sizing? Am I doing too much straight up or should I take it a little slower or maybe wear footwear? I'm a senior, no health issues. When we get on a cellar sizer and we start to move up and down, we're in a very balanced state, number one. Muscles and ligaments are being stretched and moved to support your natural alignment. Whereas when we're on a hard surface, we're not getting that same kind of movement. So initially, cellar size is very helpful at exposing weaknesses. And it takes time for those muscles and bones to align themselves to support your natural alignment instead of the, just the alignment of a shoe or, or other conditions. So yes, you're going to get more movement in there. That's one reason increased circulation or weaknesses in circulation in those areas of the body um, might also be exposed. And cellar size has been very helpful. It, 
with a great many people at increasing that flexibility in those areas of the body. Okay. Any other questions, Ricky? Does cellar sizing help with scar tissue? Uh, does it help cellar sizing help with scar tissue? I think right after, uh, and this would make some great studies um, as well, but I think right after surgery and increase the circulation, we can mitigate the scar tissue to a degree. Um, follow your doctor's advice, of course. But I don't know. I don't have any. I know that the movement up and down increases circulation. Um, it breaks up blockages. It can help do that. I believe in combination with other things, or in, in there's cases where there there might be um, some nutritional or or drugs that might be effective in helping to break up that scar tissue and the movement up and down. I mean, it's like an internal scrub brush. So if you're helping to break up blockages, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a good question, though. If anybody gets any information on that, I'd uh, love to hear about it. All right, I hope everybody has their cellular size. But what we're going to do first, I'm going to read to you the routine. We'll put it on here as well, although there's going to be some movements that are going to be a little bit different than what we currently have available on the Mr. Rebounder app but they will be on there soon. So we'll do the health bounce for 30 seconds, and we're gonna create homeostasis, balance, circulation, warm up the body. And again, for anybody who's in athletics, that's an excellent activity um, for loosening up the body rather than just stretching and tearing or, or hurting your cold muscles or ligaments. Movement up and down is a massage at the cellular level. The hip rock, we'll do that for 30 seconds, and that's gonna help them Loosen up the hip area, get some movement in the hip and the lower lumbar back area. We're going to do the twist, which goes to the next step. We'll do that for 30 seconds. So we'll have a you know, gentle twist for the smooth muscles, internal organs, connective tissues. Um, we'll do the power breathing to prime the body with oxygen. So we're going to do our power breathing for about six seconds. Um, if, if you get a little, be careful with that if you haven't done it because it can, it's an exercise for the bronchial tubes and the lungs. It helps open them up, but it also, um, they may be sensitive initially. And if you get too much oxygen too pumped into your circulatory system, people have been known to get a little dizzy. So be, be sensitive to that. Then we're going to sprint or walk. You can sprint, walk, jog. Um, we're going to do it for one minute. And um, that will be... That, that you go at the level you're comfortable with. When we're done with the sprint, we're gonna do the health bounce again for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do the front kicks. We're gonna work on the, the stomach area here. Um, you can do that by jogging, tilting backwards slightly. Um, you wanna tighten the stomach muscles as you're jogging. If you're able, then we're gonna create more leverage and we'll, we'll kick our legs out in front of us. Then we're gonna do this side kick. Um, basically, we're going to do about a hundred of each, and then we'll do the back kick. And when I do the back kick, I'll be doing it more as a jumping jack with my arms going up and down over my head. If you're not comfortable with that, don't try that. Um, go ahead and hold on to the balance bar and or performance bar, depending on what level you're at. Then we'll do the twist for 30 seconds. We'll do the whippy ski patrol for the count of 50. Now the Whippy Ski Patrol, for those who don't know, um, that is done by bringing your shoulder up and your leg in front. So it's like this, it's this movement here. It's all designed to help open up vertebral joints in the back, loosen up the muscles along the, the back, pump the lymph system. So it does, it does a great deal. Then we'll do a, the Ski Patrol itself which is just more intense, and that's just done like this. And that's for building up the thighs and the knees. Now, if that's too intense for you though, go ahead and just do the more gentle one. If you can't do that, just do the rocking one. We're gonna have fun. Remember, we're playing in. We're not working out, we're just playing in. We challenge ourselves if we want, that's fun, but uh, don't overdo it. Then, once we're done with the ski patrol, we we'll go directly into the Jamba Run. 
That's going to be intense. Now, for some of you, it'll be the Jamba Walk. Um, I probably should have and may have put a health bounce in between that. We'll see. Then we'll do the health bounce for 30 seconds. Then we'll do the Jamba Run again for another minute. So we're, we're going to get, this is a fitness routine. It's all, it's cardiovascular, it's strength, it's muscle building, it's um, health oriented, the whole thing. Then we'll do the upper twist. So we'll do the twist, but I'm going to raise my arms up. So we'll work the upper back and shoulders. Then we're going to do the arms. So we'll work on the arms. We'll work the right arm um, to the count of about 20. And you know how I do this. One, two, three, four, as we're bouncing up and down. So we're putting more weight on it. Um, then we'll do the health bounce and we're going to relax the body at that point. And I want you to just really relax the body because then I'm going to read something that I'd like, if you're comfortable, I'd like you to say or repeat to yourself. And it's basically just connecting with our body, learning to love our body for where we are right now so that we can enjoy the journey to where we're headed. So let's go ahead and get started. Get your solar sizers out. And... I'll probably put on some music for this one. I don't have a... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so maybe our health bounce first. And let's see if... myself.
we'll go to the side kick. If you lean a little bit with each side kick, you'll feel it a little bit more in these muscles right here. Don't overdo it. It's fun, <laughs> fun to challenge ourselves. And have fun, but that's what this is. And we're going to do the back here. We're going to do the whippy ski control. You can also twist in the hip socket area with your waist or hip straight ahead. People will often feel more stretch on one side of the body over the other on this one. After this one, we're going to do the ski patrol.
Jamba Run comes right after this, I think. Yep. Okay, you don't have to lift your feet up off the mat. You can, but you want to keep the back straight and the feet flat. So we're burning some fuel now. And if you just have to do the jumble walk, that's fine too. It's very good. <laughs> I love this one. I also hate this one. <laughs> Most of us do. But it works. You should be feeling it now on the top of your thighs. Okay, how fast? 30 seconds. And then we're going to do the jump and run again. So that's the last intense one. For those of you who have been able to stay on it, congratulations. Good job. All right. See, when you do it intense initially, we burn up the glucose and the sugar in our bloodstream. Our body is most probably available at the sugar source. When you do repetitions of this, it's going to go out through the stored fuel. And that's the white adding close tissue of the fat. It also increases the metabolism. Don't you love it? If you're doing it right, you're sitting back kind of toward your heels a little bit. And that's what really works with big muscles. When we're done with this, we're going to do the upper twist. Okay. Now, if you don't have a lot of flexibility in the upper back, which many people don't, don't overdo, or you'll feel it tomorrow. <laughs> Just go gently. Good job. When we're done with this, we're going to do the arm curls. So, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. And do 20 of them. Two, three, four.
And then we're going to switch arms. Okay, now what I want you to do is gently bounce up and down. We're just going to do the gentle health bounce. And I want you to feel your body. You should feel good. It's a good workout, good play out or play in. And I'm going to read some things that are designed to communicate with this body. So you'd like, go ahead and say them out loud, or repeat after me. My whole body is tingling with energy. Tingling with light and love as I increase circulation and communication to every part of my body. I am pumping oxygen, nutrients, and love to my scalp. And I want you to touch your scalp and, and do it in love, whatever it is. Just we're connecting with this body, with my brain, and just go ahead and touch your head. But 
visualize and try to feel or connect with your brain as we are increasing oxygen and circulation to the brain as well, to your eyes, and just touch your eyes. As you're moving up and down, feel your eyes. Connect with your eyes. My face. Focus and touch your face. Touch your face. And focus on your face. Your ears. And again. Feel your ears. Touch your ears. Your throat. Feel your throat. Feel the movement up and down. This it stimulates the thyroid and the lymph system, the vocal cords. Your shoulders. You can feel your shoulders. There's just Feel that energy, that circulation, that light. And you're touching it out of affection. That's what you're touching your body. You're touching it because you are, you are appreciative of your body, where it's at and where it's going to take you. Your arms, and then just kind of just touch your arms. It's your body. You're connecting with it. Your chest, your lungs, and communicate, talk to your lungs, your heart. You see your heart, you see it pumping, you see it strong. Whether it is or isn't, doesn't matter. Right now, we see it online, we're visualizing it, we're grateful for it, and we're thankful for it. And it's getting strong. Your abdominal area. Just go ahead and touch your abdominal area. And you're doing it out of love. Your back and the spinal column. So just touch your back. And feel the circulation pumping up the spinal column, the spinal cord. Your hips. And just, you might rock a little bit. Touch your hips. You're grateful for those your hips, your libido, your thighs, touch your thighs, your buttocks, your calf muscles, the second heart of your body. We're grateful for the calf muscles. They help maintain good circulation to the heart, your feet, your toes. Just send little messages to them. You're grateful for the work that they do. And that the circulation's improving in the feet. Your bones and skeletal system, just visualize your bones. They're alive. They're replacing themselves constantly with more minerals. They literally are living organisms within our body. So we're grateful for our bones and skeletal system. Our nervous system, which works through the entire body, communication from our brain all the way down through all areas of our body, the nervous system. Internal organs, there's a slew of them. If you're dealing with an issue with any one of those areas of your body, pause and see that area being filled with light. This takes practice, just like exercise. This is mental exercise, and we can do that. So see that area of your body being filled with light, and see it being healed, see it feeding, and feel it's feeding healthier, and you're grateful for the work and the connection you're making with that area of your body. It's faith, the ability to see things not as they are, but as they can become. Your lymphatic system, and you can repeat, 
my lymphatic system is armed and ready to destroy all foreign invaders that do not belong as part of this perfect body. Light is filling each of my cells. See a cell being filled with light and it's emanating from that cell and it's spreading throughout your whole body. It's being filled with light. Thank you, body, for the love you have shown me. I love and appreciate this body. I will work with this body to help us both have joy as we pursue our journey toward greater health and healing. My cells are transmitters and receivers. That's true. My body is a transmitter and receiver. I am transmitting and receiving love, hope, desire, gratitude, confidence, faith. I think positive thoughts. I surround myself with positive influences. My sense of purpose is growing. I am feeling happier, healthier, stronger, and younger. Often we take a lot of time dealing with the physical, but not enough time dealing with the mental. I hope you'll think about that, that you will continue to develop that close relationship with your body and with the cellar size family, which is an extension. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your thoughts and your support. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.